Welcome to another day in the matrix, waters above crypto. We have officially entered the 18th week of the year as we're currently in the zodiac of Taurus, the bull. And as expected, we're seeing green across the board for the cryptocurrencies, particularly Ethereum. And I'll be doing a brief decode to show you why this Ethereum pump is happening. So if you're new here, we do cryptocurrency technical analysis and combine it with the esoteric science of gematria, numerology, and astrology to understand these markets. If you haven't already subscribed and you like what we're doing here, feel free to subscribe. Give this video a like and share this channel with other conscious people to help grow this community. And for those of you who want to learn how to do technical analysis and combine it with gematria, you can join my mastermind course. There's a promo code in the pinned comment below with instructions to get lifetime access to the course with a discount. My email's in the description box to get in contact with me for access to the course. And a new month has started on Patreon. So for those of you who've been waiting to join starting in the month of May, here's a friendly reminder. Yesterday's weekly red pill episode was an hour long, covered a bunch of altcoins the Patreon supporters suggested. And now the Mastermind community has over 100 active members chatting in the Discord. Everyone in our community is enlightened and completely awake to what's going on in the world. So if you're somebody who can't discuss this truth with your friends or family, or you feel alone, come join our community. We're a big family and we can help each other thrive in this matrix together. It's nothing but love and high vibrations over there. And red pills, of course. <laughs> And with that being said, let's take the red pill. So first things first, I haven't really done much Ethereum decoding for you guys, so I think that this will be a really nice one for you guys to see the method to my madness, for those of you who are new here especially, and haven't really watched me do a decode yet. Again, I appreciate all the newer subscribers, much love. So let's just get to the basics, right? We have ETH with the 33, and then this 15 and 14 will come up again later because for anyone who's been following my work, we know the 14 and the 15 come back to XRP. ETH with the 33 and then also with Ethereum. Excuse my spelling error. With the 121, right? And what just happened was we transitioned out of the 121st day of the year, which was yesterday, into today, where we hit the $3,300 price. So there was actually a time today where Ethereum hit $3,333. And this is after the 121st day of the year. And I've been showing this time and time again, how you could use Gematria to be able to determine prices and dates before they even happen. So for anyone who um, wants to overthink this, you don't really need to. All you gotta do is type in the name of the project and then type in the ticker symbol and you'll get exactly what you need. And here's how we could go even deeper. So the reason for this pump is allegedly because of the Berlin stable release, which happened recently. So you see this stable release, Berlin on 15th of April, 2021. This is the, uh, the narrative that we're being given by the cryptocurrency news and Twitter and all that other nonsense. And we're here to just show you the truth that you could have figured all this stuff out just using Gematria. So April 15th was actually in the 15th week of this year. Again, with ETH coming back to the 15, as we see right here. And this is one amazing thing to note. Berlin equals 33. So think about this. If we look at where the price was on the 14th of April, sitting around uh, this region right here, we could have just bought in on this stable release using our imagination with the Berlin and with the 33 connection to ETH, and we would have gotten the exact price. <laughs> from this stable release. Absolutely incredible how this all works. So Berlin equaling 33, like ETH equals 33. The stable release happening on the 15th day of the 15th week of the year, as you can see right here, April 15th. And then now this is what's really crucial to see. 
It happened 18 days ago, and remember, I was talking about the 18th week of the year, which just started today. So it's been 18 days to start the 18th week of the year. These numbers keep repeating time and time again. It's amazing stuff, because what does Berlin equal in Chaldean? It equals 18. So <laughs> Berlin, the 18th day 18 month, sorry, 18 week. It's just so incredible how we get all this confluence in all of these numbers. And again, I actually just put this decode together about an hour ago. So it's kind of just for everyone to see how you could play around with these numbers and get the res get these um, sort of number results. Also, yesterday being the 121st day of the year, right? Like Ethereum equals 121 right here. And um, if you type in when Ethereum was released, which was July 30th, 2015, and add up till yesterday, the 121st day of the year, which is coming back to the 121, like Ethereum, you could see right here by typing in the July 30th, as shown right here, July 30th, 2015, and then putting it to yesterday, you get 300 weeks and three days coming back to that 33 using the rules of reduction with numerology. This isn't by accident, guys. This is all calculated using their code. They do it time and time again. And here's another thing we could do for those of you that are into the numero numerology of things. We got 5-3-2021 with the 13. And remember that 13. That, so this is today's date reduced using the rules of numerology. Then you have Ethereum with the 41 which is the 13th prime number. So we're getting back in our primes now to even add more to this. And if I type out the day as May 3, 2021, we're getting the 14 in Chaldean, and this is coming back to Ethereum with the 41 as above, so below, the mirroring numbers, and also, of course, ETH with the 14. So the date of today is super crucial for Ethereum, and it's making sense why this is all happening the way it is. Also, yesterday's date, if you added it up like such, 5 plus 2 plus 20 plus 21, you get 48. And of course, ETH equals 48, which was the 121st day of the year, like Ethereum, when this breakout to $3,300 started again, with the price hitting 3,333. So that's our decode for today. And let's get into some price action. With Ethereum, the next upside target would be somewhere around the 4,000 range. And I'm just gonna go ahead and say it'll be 4,400. I did make a video last week showing back here that the next big price move for Ethereum was 3,300. Again, because I stated it's the English ordinal using uh, Gamatria. So we actually did know that this 3,300 was gonna happen in advance. My mastermind course, I was also saying it, that the next big upside target for Ethereum would be 3,300. But today was just a way that I could show uh, everyone on YouTube. This is how you could dig a little bit deeper and find out how, how amazing this Gamatria stuff is. This esoteric knowledge is, it's just mind blowing once you start to apply it on your own and get creative. So next upside targets would be 4,400, uh, 4, and then you could get creative from there, perhaps 4,800 using ETH, or look at that, 4,100 uh, or 4,000 flat. Let's just go, I would say the 4,100 to 4,400 because those are the most um, obvious targets using Fibonacci retracement and also using Gamatria. I'm not gonna do too much TA on ETH today though because I wanna, I wanna get back to the, the bigger holdings that I have, which are XRP and Bitcoin. So for those of you who watched yesterday's video, I was going over this um, golden pocket area that seems to be holding up pretty nicely for Ethereum. I'll zoom in. You could see the FIB was pulled from the current high down to this current swing low, and we've made it up into this golden pocket area, but it looks like today we're not doing too well. So Ethereum is going today full blast because it's pure ritual for Ethereum, but XRP is sort of sitting on the sidelines. Seen a pretty nice pullback even to some of these um, lower moving averages, 
And that's really nice to see. Again, I've been anticipating we could come down all the way to this 236 area like I brought up in yesterday's video. I'm going to bring up my other chart for XRP, the one that we were using to get the prediction that I made last week. And this prediction being from the 18th week all the way to the 20th week, ending on the 23rd of May, being my price breakout target dates for XRP, again, using Gamatria. And I said specifically in yesterday's video that the 14th of May or the 15th of May is when I would anticipate that high price, the price target being $2.70 to the upside, again, aligning with the previous Fibonacci 4236 and the current golden pocket, or sorry, golden ratio, 1618. This just being ritual, of course, $2.70 going back to Ripple, like 27 in Chaldean. So this is why I'm coming up with these numbers, guys. It's not my opinion. I'm using the code, and I'm showing you guys exactly how you can, too. So this structure that we're seeing right here is pretty normal. We're just hanging around this golden pocket range. It would be nice to get a closure below it. That way we can start to maybe head a little bit down to this 382 or 236 before continuation to the upside like we've been anticipating. But you know how this market goes. If it wants to get a daily close above the 786, we can start to head to new highs very soon. So that's why I made such a large breakout box. Again, 18, the 18th week, starting on May 3rd, which is today. The reason I came out with that is because of Venus and how much Venus as the 18 keeps showing up in my work. Again, Venus also having the 5-4, which is tomorrow's date numerology, May 4th, and then also the 19 coming back to Taurus. And we're in the zodiac of Taurus, and that would be next week from today. Perfect uh, confluence here. So. We're just kind of sideways today on XRP, very boring, but I like how it's trading at this $1.50 level that's showing a lot of strength. The only reason this is probably holding up today, to be completely honest to everyone, is because Bitcoin dominance is down and Ethereum as the second biggest altcoin in terms of market cap is pushing up the alts. That's typically how it goes. We used to see Ethereum lead the market, and then when it turned into the beginning of this year, around the December, late December, as we transi transitioned into January, we saw Bitcoin started leading the show. And that was when Bitcoin's dominance went to 70%. And since then, it has dropped dramatically. So as today, the dominance is down and the dollar index is also down, you're seeing the alt, so the dollar index being down 0.36%. You're seeing the altcoins doing really well, particularly Ethereum. And when Ethereum does well, things like Chainlink do well. Polkadot seems to do pretty well on days like that too. Anyways, that's kind of a side note. Let's move on to Bitcoin and then we're going to wrap this one up. So Bitcoin, the number one thing I was looking out for, let me hide the drawings, was this cross of the, the white and the yellow. Let me turn off those other moving averages. So once Bitcoin has this cross of the 8 EMA above the 55 EMA, that's continuation. That tells me that we're ready for new highs. But until that cross happens, I anticipated sideways. And that's what I've been telling you guys for the last you know four or five YouTube videos I've made so far. Another thing to note is the RS, or the MACD flipping bullish, and that's a good sign to see the histogram flip green, and then also RSI sitting above 50. When RSI is above 50 and MACD has crossed bullish, the only thing I need to see next is this 8 cross above the 55, and then I anticipate this uh, Bitcoin price to start heading to new highs. Another thing is look at all these EMAs, the 13, 21, and uh, 34, they're all coiling up right here. So as they coil up, this will build a very strong support for Bitcoin. Um, Bitcoin could flash down right now to this uh, 53, 52 level. And when it does that, it'll bring all the altcoins down with it for a moment. But all I would consider that is a buying opportunity. And what we should expect shortly after that should be new highs for everything. Again, I'm expecting in the month of May for every cryptocurrency to be hitting new yearly highs. And anyone that hasn't hit all-time highs 
will be hitting new all-time highs. Even the opportunity is there for XRP to be hitting that $3.30 before the end of May. I'm going to leave that there again for anyone who's looking to learn how to do cryptocurrency technical analysis. My course has a promo code in the pinned comment below if you qualify by joining the Patreon. Patreon is open for the month for anyone who's looking to join. And it's now 3.33 p.m. as I end this video. So happy 3.33 to everyone from a different timeline. <laughs> Enjoy the rest of your day in the matrix. Much love.